Brian. Okay, folks, this is Larry Pesavento setting in for Tom O'Brien, and what I've done here is post the E-mini S&P as of the low yesterday, and as you can see, I believe in AB equals CD patterns, and we were looking for the market to get up to this level of 141.40. Uh, uh, We've been to 41.30 so far with a little more time to go. I hadn't checked recently where the last price was. The last time I saw it, I think that's it going off now because I hear the beeper going off, so that must be it. So hold on, and by golly, there it is at 41.37 in the S&P. Who would have ever thunk it? Anyway, but the number we're really looking for, folks, is 41.41. We're almost there, and so we'll pay close attention to that, and we'll see what's going on. We've got gold up about $25 now. We got the bonds just uh, went from negative to positive with the flick of the wrist. Evidently, Mr. Powell has come on uh, giving some words of wisdom about the 25% uh, basis point uh, uh, thing that we had. So we're, all I do is follow the charts, folks. That stuff is... Uh, you know, even though I got a couple of degrees in you know, finance and stuff and business, but I swear to God, I've never been able to figure out the fundamentals of what they're doing. But the one thing I can do is I can tell whether prices are going up or down, and that's uh, that's valuable. And uh, I do that by looking at AB equals CD. If you got a higher bottoms, it's going up. If you got a lower tops, it's going down. That's pretty much what you want to see. Now, we're going to take a look at some stocks here that we follow uh, not very often on our program because we do ma mainly futures and forex, but the four major stocks that we follow, and we follow them occasionally on the show because people are so involved with them, they have questions about it. So the first one we're going to be looking at today is Appel, Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. You'll see here that we've had a beautiful ABCD completing. Now, this low that we made here down in this area, folks, uh, rather 124 level. That was a 382 on the long-term weekly uh, going back to 2019. So that's a major, major bottom. And you can see here, we've had a really strong rally here over the past two weeks. Not as strong as some of the others, but it's still been been uh, quite healthy, you know, to the tune of about 8%, which is pretty good. Now, the next one we want to talk about has been in the news every day, and it will continue to be as long as Mr. Elon Musk is running the place. And that is Tesla. So what we're going to do now is take a look at Tesla. It is up big from the bottom. If you remember, the ABCD on this measured to 109. On this day right here, there was some really bad news, and the market went below that 109 by $3 to 106 and has been as high as 177 these last few days. I don't know where it is today. All I know is that if you look at that price that we made at 175, that is the 68% the retracement of the all-time high in Apple. So that's a, that's a big move, folks. We've gone from 109 to 175 in three weeks, and that's a big move. I know a lot of it has been short covering, but short covering counts just as much as people going long if you're in the equity side of this thing. So remind ourselves, folks, these things, when they move, they can really move you know, very, very dramatically. Now, the next one we're going to take a look at is Facebook. Now, this stock has not budged at all, and I really believe that something is wrong with this company, and uh, the people that are fleeing this are much like the people that are fleeing the, uh, the cold weather here in Arizona. But look at this, folks. We've gone from up in the, the triple digits, you know, down to, you know, a very, very small amount of that number. And that's that's huge. And not only that, no bounce. Look at this. There's very, very little bounce here in Facebook over the past couple of weeks. That is not a good sign of support, folks. That's just telling you that minor support is there. If this was really supportive, you'd see it like Apple and Google and some of the others, the fact that they're rallying quite a bit. But unfortunately, Meta or Google would, or Facebook, whatever you want to call it, is under severe pressure and it doesn't look good just for the fact that investors don't seem to be interested in it at this time. You know, they loved it when it was 150, 160. When it was down here at around 25, I mean, <laughs> it doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any friends, as you can, you can well imagine. So that's a, an important thing to factor in when you're looking at these things. Now, the next stock that we're going to be looking at here is Amazon. Let me get this up here. And you'll be able to see it. Now, we were doing the bottoms on these stocks, you know, way back in December and January, folks, when these bottoms were being formed. 
And we talked about the fact that the market has a bias for a positive January. And here we are three weeks into it. And we've been up every day since January 4th. You can see the bottom here that was made here at 81 and a half. Uh, the low was, uh, I think, 81 and three eighths. And now we've gone all the way up to this level here. You see we're heading towards this ABCD pattern up here that's going to put it back into triple digits. And I think we might have been there already. By golly, we have. We hit triple digits. We're back to 103 today. So uh, we've had a nice move of really 22% in Amazon since January 4th. So that's telling you there's been some strong buying coming into the market. Now, will this continue? I am not sure. But you know what else, boys and girls? Nobody else is either. All we can do is take these patterns, put them in perspective, and say, yes, they do have a predictive quality behind them. But they also fail. And when they fail, that's telling you a great deal of information, especially when it's related to the trend. Now, let me show you exact an example of this. Here was the E-mini. I'm going to bring this a different chart up on the E-mini just to show you where we were yesterday. Because at that point, you'll see we were making a beautiful 1-3-5 pattern. 1, 3, and 5. And that means there's going to be an A, B, C, D on this market very, very shortly, going up in <clears throat> to the much, much higher level that we were just posted here at around 146. Uh, so far, the high of the day uh, in the E-mini S&B has been uh, 144. So that's uh, pretty close to <clears throat> the level that we were watching to see if it was going to, uh, to, to hit. But it's close. That's all I can do. Well, within one point, that's pretty close. So let's keep an eye on that, too, for today, because uh, the Fed will be done speaking here excuse me, in just a moment, and then the markets will start to simulate the news that he talked about, and they'll have one person saying one thing and another person saying another thing, and the only thing that counts is the buyers and the sellers, and they're different fellers, and if they come in and change their mind, the market can easily go uh, 500 points up in the Dow Jones and 500 points down in the Dow Jones is not unusual anymore because these markets are extremely volatile, and they react on the tightest of sensitive news. As a matter of fact, when we were uh, doing getting ready to build our programs today, we were noticing that the price levels on some of these things uh, to get our level was high. Let's take a break. 877-927-6648. 